This is a video showing the HM7000 having difficulties with DCC on a Hornby Class 43 Castle set. Let's see how we fix it. Roll the credits. <laughs> This is a video showing the HM7000 having problems controlling a train on DCC. At the moment, the castle set, which is on in picture, is being controlled by DCC. I can switch on and off the lights. I can't at the moment change directions of the lights. That's not working. I can start the engine. This shows that the DCC is correct. I can sound the horn, but when I try to move the diesel, nothing, it's not responding. To driving at all. If I switch off the DCC and Steve now takes it back to Bluetooth, he can now drive the train forwards and backwards. This is now moving under, D under Bluetooth control. Stop. You've gone too far back. Come bring it forward a bit. Bring it forward a bit. And then if he tries to change directions, you can see the and put the lights on. Yeah. You can see the lights are now changing. And the same will reverse forward. Reverse. So the lights are now working correctly. So absolutely normal control under Bluetooth. We contacted we contacted Hornby technical support, but to be fair, they were about as much use as trying to brew a cup of tea in a chocolate teapot. They were no help whatsoever. Discussing this between Steve and myself, we recall that Steve had exactly the same problem when he was exhibiting his layout, which was a TT120 layout, at Gaydon last October. And Martin from Hornby pointed out that it was CV19 was causing the problem. If Steve now shows on, C on the CVs, scrolls down to CV19, you can see it's actually on one. If he goes into that CV and presses reset and goes to zero, exit, and now switches back to DCC, back to DCC. You can DCC. let the engine stop. You can see now when I try and operate it, the lights are working forward, forward light, backwards light, forward. I can now drive the train under DCC and sound under DCC. So I now have full normal control. The, the question is, why did it, or how did it change to CV19 stopping it? And why does CV19 stop it working? The answer to that is simple.
Hornby can give no explanation why CV19 is present because it's not working as a proper consist. I will show that in another video because it, that is quite complex. But with CV19 switching to 1, it puts it into a consist mode and stops the normal DCC function. By simply changing it back to CV0, that cures the problem. We have advised Hornby of this, and that when I spoke to the same technician who couldn't help us in the first place, he advised us he'd never been given that information and was grateful for us telling him. One has to ask the question, why didn't, knowing that Hornby knew the problem, why didn't they uh, advise their tech support people to help the public? If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe for future videos.